Hi, today we are going to be setting up a Pinecone private endpoint in a project. It allows you to securely connect your VPCs in your AWS account to your Pinecone indexes via private link. Note that private endpoints are local to a specific region and are set up per project. This means that to successfully establish connectivity between your VPC and Pinecone indexes, you need to make sure that VPC and indexes are in the same region. For this demo, I'm going to be working in US East 1 region. So let's begin. I have a Pinecone index named Private Endpoints that is in the region US East 1. Uh, I'm going to be setting up a private endpoint in the same region. The first step would be to go to Network tab and click on Add an Endpoint. Here, I will select the region that I want to deploy the private endpoint in. I will keep this as US East 1. I hit Next. We will take the following service name and use it to deploy interface endpoints in my AWS account. So I will go ahead and copy the service name and then navigate to my AWS dashboard. Now I'm in my AWS account. You can see that I'm in US East 1 region, Northern Virginia. To deploy an endpoint, I will navigate to endpoint and I will create an endpoint. Right now, I have none. Here, I will name my endpoint. So let's go ahead and name it something like private endpoint. For the service category, I will select other endpoint services and I will paste the service name that I had copied earlier and verify the service. It says the service name is verified. So AWS has verified that the service name is valid and we can connect to it. I am now going to go ahead and select the VPC that I want to deploy this endpoint in. I have one VPC in this particular region. I'm going to select that. Importantly, I want to also go under additional settings and select enable DNS name. This allows you to make requests to the Pinecone's default public DNS name without having to configure Route 53 yourself. Next, I will select the subnets that I want to deploy these endpoints in. I will select all my subnets and select the subnet ID. I will attach a security group to this endpoint. And I don't want any other tags associated with this endpoint and I will create this endpoint. Great, the VPC endpoint is being successfully created and helpfully, I also get the VPC endpoint ID. I need to use this VPC endpoint ID and authorize it on Pinecone so that Pinecone knows what VPC endpoint ID to accept traffic from. So I'll go ahead and copy this and go back to Pinecone. Here, I will enter this VPC ID by pasting it and hit next. Great, the private endpoint has been created. I can also additionally restrict internet access to my project, which I'm not going to do, but I will just go ahead and finish setup. To connect to my indexes over private link, I can look at my indexes and look at the private endpoint host. This host name allows me to connect to my indexes over private link. Optionally, I can also restrict access to my project to only private endpoints. I can go under Network tab and under Access, toggle Restrict Access to Only Private Endpoints. Note that this disables internet access to your project for data plane operations and can impact indexes that are not communicating via private link. I will confirm and proceed. And now I've secured my Pinecone project through private endpoints. Thank you.